Mosquitoes suck. They wake us up in the middle of the night and they ruin our days by biting us when we least expect it. These bloodthirsty beasts are the most hated living things on Earth. But is it possible to become immune to mosquitoes? Absolutely! When a mosquito bites, it uses saliva to numb the skin and keep the blood flowing. The swelling and itching that comes after the bite is not caused by the chemicals present in the saliva, but it is instead the response of our immune system as it releases antibodies. It is like an allergic reaction, and like all allergic reactions, the only way to become desensitized to it is through continuous exposure. Oh yes, but we're not talking about a few bites here. We're talking a few thousand. The trick is to convince our body that reacting to these bites is a waste of energy. In 1998, a study was carried out with a 23-year-old man and a rabbit. Both received 15 to 20 mosquito bites a day. They were exposed to a species of mosquito that neither had been bitten by before. At the beginning of the experiment, the two didn't react much to the bites because their bodies hadn't yet learned to recognize those chemicals as foreign. However, over the course of several weeks, they became sensitive to it and the reactions became larger and more uncomfortable. Then, after 20 weeks, the reaction started to visibly decrease. And after 26 weeks, both the man and the rabbit showed no reaction at all to the mosquito bites. This may seem encouraging, but it took almost 2,000 mosquito bites to get to this point. And we don't know how long the body will remain desensitized by the insect's saliva. Aside from that, there are hundreds of different species of mosquitoes that bite humans, each one with different allergens, and it would become impossible to become immune to every species. And with this, we come to our second question. Why don't we just kill all the mosquitoes? It wouldn't be feasible to use large-scale poisons to eliminate every mosquito, but let's say that we succeed in this without poisoning the environment. Let's imagine that our wish comes true and they all disappeared. What impact would that have on the ecosystem? Some scientists say they would be easily replaced in the food chain with no consequences. But other scientists consider mosquitoes an important food source for migratory birds, especially those that live in the Arctic, Canada and Russia. Some other species have also been known to pollinate plants. We don't really need to get rid of all the mosquitoes, and we shouldn't. But we can make the ones that bite us harmless. One of the most dangerous species is the Aedes aegypti. They are simply the worst species ever. This mosquito kills hundreds of thousands of people around the world every year. It's a carrier of diseases like malaria, yellow fever and Zika. In 2015, a British company called Oxitec created a male with a modified gene that does not work like it's supposed to. When these genetically modified mosquitoes are released into the wild, they mate with female mosquitoes transmitting the gene to their offspring, who will die before becoming adults. No adults, no bites. And this leads us to the last question. Which mosquitoes bite us and why? Only the females who live for about a month bite us because they need a protein present in our blood called isoleucine so that they can produce eggs. You can recognize a male by his feathery antennae, which is used to help him sense his potential mate's wing beats. Male mosquitoes only live for about 10 days. If you see one of them flying in your home, don't get alarmed. The males don't really care about you, they are only waiting for the right time to mate. Mosquitoes are attracted to carbon dioxide and body heat. In fact, researchers have developed huge traps that reproduces the breath and heat from cows. Obviously, mosquitoes tend to point to people who have a higher body temperature, and pregnant women and obese people are among those who suffer more from mosquito bites, simply because they produce more CO2. We all have a different blood type, each one with a distinctive marker called an antigen. And yes, mosquitoes can even detect our blood type, and studies have shown that they prefer people with type O blood type. 
About 80% of us secrete these blood type antigens through sweat, creating an irresistible call for mosquitoes who are looking for a meal. Mosquitoes can also detect the chemicals coming out of us, such as lactic acid, which we produce by metabolizing milk, and even octanol, a type of alcohol we produce after consuming certain types of fatty acid. So, if you think that the mosquitoes are only targeting you, it is not a curse or bad luck. Well, maybe it is. But you have been chosen for a reason. <laughs>